Hi, last video we have seen how to control the module using Realtor and um, now we want to connect to just another module. So this um, firmware which is on the HM10 modules and the other um, HM modules is acting like um, yeah, some kind of wireless connection be between hardware like a wireless mouse or keyboard so you can't actually connect directly with another uh, Bluetooth um, like from your laptop. At least I didn't manage to do this yet. And um, you have to use just another module. So I have a second one here. Um, this is uh, yeah, a quite different... Uh, a breakout board um, which has not um, the pins connected um, that are not used by the firmware on here so this was uh, my first prototype um, and this one was the second but I can use it um, just to test here the connection bet between the two modules so let's just start to connect this up again The second module is running right now, as well as the first, but they do not want to connect yet. The problem is that both modules are set up as a slave, um, in slave mode. And we have to change at least one of them um, to be the master. And uh, to achieve this we have just to um, send a certain comment. Um, to the module and we will use uh, real-time to do this. So I just connect again to the module and I will use the command from the sheet which is Role. Okay, we want to change the role. 80 plus role. And default is slave 0 and master is 1. So we want to set it to 1 and send this. And it was changed. Now, as you can see, there are steady the LEDs and um, the modules connected up. From this point, I can't, uh, yeah, send anything to um, the master module, which I'm connecting with. When I try to do this, I will not get a response. Uh, the reason is. Um, because the modules are by default in transmission mode. The transmission mode just sends all communication um, which is coming from serial just to the serial port of the other module. So we can try um, to check if the communication is uh, working correctly. I will just pick one of the lines I don't know if it's the transmitting or receiving right now because I <laughs> always uh, confuse them. Uh, but it doesn't matter if I uh, send the serial um, communication to, to this one. It will transmit here and be received here and shows up on screen. Since we uh, yeah, will receive it through the serial. And if it's the other way around, it, uh, we will receive it here and uh, get this through serial here. So um, I will just try to send a comment or we can just send anything we want. We can make hello world and 
send this and we will get it back from the other module. So um, we can also change it. So we swap the receiving and sending one. I think this was like this. And also our sending comments will not be interpreted in this mode. We will just receive um, the exact um, string that we are sending via wireless. So this is a successful connection. Um, you can use the UART. You can connect this to uh, your Arduino board or just to your uh, AT or a PIC a microcontroller and communicate like this. So this is the uh, mode which is called uh, transmission mode. This is the default one but we can also use the remote control mode or a mixture of both. So the mixture of both mode 2 um, all the, the strings that we are sending are uh, also interpreted by the uh, receiving module and also um, sent to the UART of the receiving module. But we uh, don't care about uh, this right now. You can try this yourself. We will just to, uh, want to control the uh, remote control mode. So remote control modes means we have certain comments uh, uh, we, uh, which we can use to Con uh, to control the pin IOs, read from them and also uh, send to them. And um, when no um, no wireless connection is up, this module are uh, this uh, the module interprets uh, the receiving module, um, which is connected to the serial, um, interprets the comments. If the connection is made and we have a remote control mode. Um, the comments are sent uh, wirelessly and the other module is uh, yeah, interpreting them if it's in re remote control. So what we want to do right now is we want to change um, the mode of this module to remote control and then try if we can do something with the I.O. pins. So I will just connect this one and yeah, to be able to uh, yeah to communicate and uh, change the settings of this module, uh, I will just disconnect the other one. Okay, so uh, it's disconnected right now, and I can change um, yeah the mode with this command AT mode and set this to uh, remote control. So AT mode and then we want one. So okay, set one and now we can just connect our master again and connect the serial port the UART to the master module so what we are sending to this module will be um, interpreted by this one so let's check out the comments we want um, yeah let's take this wire and we have some pins here I will just take the first pin and wire this to ground. So we have the first pin is uh, PIO2. Um, if you can see this on the data sheet. And um, we uh, should sense on this IO. Uh, as zero since we ground um, this pin. So let's check this comment. This is 
here. Um, ATPIO and then uh, we take two and a question mark. This is um, this is the query um, command for the IO. So let, let's try this. PIO two question mark and then we receive a zero. Now we can change this to high and send the comment again and we receive a one. So we can sense now um, the IOs which are uh, 10 uh, IOs which we can sense here and we can also control them. But uh, yeah you have to take care uh, not to put a uh, too high load on the pins since um, they can just handle um, yeah the first two which are <laughs> uh, occupied by the LED and um, the reset button which we uh, didn't uh, didn't bother to connect um, they can handle more than uh, two milliamps they can handle up to 20 I think as, as far as I remember but the other pin IOs can just handle um, two milliamps so if we want to run another LED to show um, if uh, we can change the state we have to use uh, a transistor so I just pick this one um, NPN transistor here and I have to connect the emitter this is this one then I want to use the base but we have to put a resistor in between this is a 47k resistor as far as I remember I will just put this to the base and uh, connect this to the resistor and we have the collector which is then connected like this so plus diode and so on so even even if uh, the transistor would uh, just uh, pass all voltage through since it's just controlling the current um, it wouldn't matter since we just running on 3.3 volts it uh, wouldn't harm uh, the LED that much so let's try we have now um, connected the LED I hope this is uh, right wiring um, and I will just send now uh, the comment to set uh, this pin IO to to high oh <laughs> as I see we just received some stuff but I will just ignore it I can we can clear the screen here and I will send pin IO and set this to 1 and our LED lights up we can clear it as well so I will just send 0 to this pin and it turned off so the connect the, the transmission between the modules is uh, really easy um, and I think we can start to build stuff just uh, to, uh, which communicates between those two. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.